she's not going nowhere. She's mm-hmm. not going straight out. So mm-hmm. I'm saying, I'm not saying, and no marriage is perfect, but I say if a woman is being satisfied at home, she ain't going to go nowhere else because they think she wanted from this man on the street. Mm-hmm. Her husband don't know, so she has no reason to leave. Mm-hmm. So it might be something that he's not doing at home that while she leaving. I mean, it's not going to be no just one-time thing or no error, no all, and not then. It's something he constantly is not doing that she wants mm-hmm. to make her want to go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. I don't care. For me, mm-hmm. if Matt was doing what he was supposed to do at home, I had no reason to go out there look for, for another man because he's doing it at mm-hmm. home. So then if, if I, and then if she get it, if she went to vote then, then let me, I said it's a man to get the vote. If she get, if she get the vote then, okay. Mm-hmm. She got the vote, but I'm not going to leave because she get one, but I'm leaving. He get one because he is one in authority. He the one that's leading the flock. So he should be fighting to keep their marriage together. He I shouldn't mean, be trying to true. file a divorce. Yeah. yeah he so, should be so fighting. Though, so. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But some women. Not bound, mister. I'm not saying I'm saying, but if Mr. Home, home, home. That's how my ex-wife was. She was just basically, I don't want you no more. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> well, never really wanted you, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so why she married you there, huh? Because we had, we had a kid, so okay. that's why we got married. Oh, okay. So okay. It, it, it all depends on the person. So mm-hmm. I would have to really just sit down and talk to the pastor and see what's going on. Well, mm-hmm. why are you getting a divorce? Well, my... Uh, uh, I'm tired of her and da 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 da. Well, that ain't a good reason. Well, she left me. She's sleeping with Deacon Johnson. Oh, oh, oh I ain't know all that, Pastor. My bad. I was about to, you know, it's, it, <laughs> depending on what the situation is. Stay with because it's her, not him. It just, it just my way of thinking. I'm not saying that mm-hmm. right, but the way I was saying, I never thought about her leaving. But I mm-hmm. still say, if I was her, I would not want to stay there. And that's the way I feel about it. And I won't, I told Mac, you can stay. I'm not staying. I'm, I'm going to leave you right here in church. I'm going somewhere else. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stay there. And that's the way I feel about it. <coughs> okay, well, he, he used so, um, the planting as people being planted in the mm-hmm. church. Uh, can somebody read Psalms 1, uh, verse 3? Psalms 1. Mm-hmm. Psalms 1. I'm just trying to get that. That's the first thing. He's like a tree by the roots of water. Yeah. Psalms one, verse three. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and she and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Mm-hmm. His leaf shall not wither, mm-hmm. and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Okay, so he was using that example by not leaving, by staying. That if you're planted. You know, like the plants that are being picked up and rooted, picked up and rooted. So I'm going from this church to that church to this church to that church. Looking for a, looking for what? <coughs> a perfect church. A perfect uh-huh. ministry. And there ain't no ter- perfect churches. Nope. There's no perfect ministry. Nope. There's always something wrong with something. Uh-huh. So sometimes we just have to stay planted where we are. Just, I mean, it just depends on what the situation is. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just stay planted where we are. Uh, Mark 4, 16 through 17. This might read it. Mark. Mm-hmm. Mark 4, 16 through 17. Why are you looking? He says, once you leave the place God has chosen for you, your root system begin to dwarf. Your root system begins to just... I guess there would be no satisfaction wherever you go. Because you're always going to be, there's always going to be something missing. It's just, like somebody who ain't saved. Something's missing. I don't know what's wrong with me. I got this, I got that, but what's wrong with me? Something's missing. Okay, go ahead. In a similar way, these are the ones on whom seed was sown on the rocky places. What, what uh, version are you using? Um, I'm reading from the Schofield. Oh, you read, um, you ain't got the Bible? Here's the Bible. <laughs> oh, that's not the Bible. You said Mark 4. That's a description. I mean, that's a, it's not a description. What's it, what is it? That's right. Translation. Right. It's a teaching. Right? Yeah. yeah. So when you read that, then you can read Schofield. Can you do that? Please. That's, that's fine. Okay. No problem. I'll, 
and then it's, I'll talk about it. I'll it explains it. It gives me a better <laughs> understanding, understanding mm -hmm. when I'm reading from uh, 4 and 16. Here we go. King James. Mm -hmm. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground who when they have heard the word immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. What y'all think about that? Oh, let me see that read her Scofield. Go ahead. Go ahead, read Scofield now. Oh, okay. <laughs> In a similar way, these are the ones on whom seed was sown on the rocky places, who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with joy. And they have no firm root in themselves. Let's stop. So this is somebody who, so this is somebody who's heard the word of God. They come into the church, right? They're excited about the word. They enjoy. They're just on fire. But then immediately when they leave out, that word is gone. It's gone. Because they ain't got no what? No, no root. No root. No foundation. No, no foundation. No, no, no root. I just heard the word. The word made me jump, holler, and shout. Now I'm out here back in this, back in this world. And my joy gone. Mm -hmm. That's where some of us are today. We hear the word. Listen to the word. The word is good. Get out in that world. What, what happened to that word? What was that word? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, finish this it, 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 it didn't stay. There wasn't no root to hook no onto. No to it, right. Mm -mm. Uh, so, in the rocky places, when they receive the word, they, no firm root in themselves, but are only temporary then. Mm. When affliction or persecution arises because of the word, immediately they fall away. Because of the word. That's sad. What y'all think about that? Because of the word they fall away. Mm -hmm. It said, which afflictions are persecution arise for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. This, uh, I guess it's uh, King James. Mm -hmm. For the word's sake. So what you get out yeah, of that? Because of the word, they are immediately offended. Because of the word. I don't know, it's like, when I read when I read that, um, that's that, that's obviously somebody that goes to church, somebody that shouts when they hear the word, but then they offended because of the word. It's almost like they somebody saying, "Ain't you a ain't you a Christian? Uh -huh. Ain't you supposed to have long suffering? Ain't you supposed to do this?" Mm -hmm. And they getting offended because it's like I've talked to people and I've been that person that got offended when you threw the word. It's, it's almost like you're throwing the word in my face. Oh, yeah. Aren't you, aren't you a Christian? Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to be doing that. Why? Aren't you a Christian? <laughs> and it make you mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it make you mad I'm at a Christian, the time. But it didn't say I ain't have no uh, feelings or emotions. I can talk. I ain't got to scream and shout. But it's like it all go out the window. Like mm -hmm. I can sit here and listen to the pastor say, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, don't worry about tomorrow. God gonna supply all your needs. Mm -hmm. And then he I walk out the door mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh Lord, what are we gonna do about tomorrow? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, we got food for the day, but what about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm already worrying about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. When the pastor just said, don't worry about tomorrow. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, it's like, it ain't take no root. I heard it, but it ain't take no root. Ain't no root, no root. You gotta be rooted and grounded in Christ. You got something to say, Mr. Bad, you look like it. <laughs> well, I, I was, I'm still thinking the original question, what mm -hmm. the, the lesson is about, and it's about God put me here. Mm -hmm. He planted me here. Mm -hmm. This is where he want me to take root, to get the foundation. Mm -hmm. And I'm uprooting myself. And that's what was going on here in Mark. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm still there. Mm -hmm. to be it for teaching purposes or to help me grow mm -hmm. and see even though this person is doing all of this wrong mm -hmm. I'm here for a reason because God put me here and I need to listen to the word and discern have the discernment for myself mm -hmm. and that way I'm going to be rooted in the word because I got it mm 
-hmm. and I and I received it, regardless of who it came from, because of what God did. He planted me there. That's good. That's real good. A lot of people do that. A lot of people stay because they don't, they're, they're familiar with the pastor. They're familiar with the whole crowd. They don't want to go nowhere different. And some people, you know, uh, that's like Catholics. I'm not talking about. I'm not down in Catholics, but they <laughs> they they stay. Even though the priest did this, the priest did that, they still stay mm -hmm. because. I was born, I was raised this way. That could be me. I was raised uh, Baptist. Me too. But then, when I got, the, it's not nothing wrong with the Baptist. I just, me and my uncle, he was a preacher. We used to always converse back and forth. He going to tell me, nobody speaks in tongues. And we just kept going. I said, yes, I speak in tongues. How are you going to say that? Mm. That's just, you know, like, shut him down. And he said, you do, you know. So, like, you know, at the Baptist Church, we didn't speak in tongues. They might do it now, but when I was growing up, they didn't do it. Mm -mm. But now, you know, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's just, uh, yeah, uprooted and, yeah. I've uprooted myself a lot of times, so, yeah, that ain't good. <laughs> uproot and go here. You know, because I went to a church called Cathedral of Praise, and I went, and we all there was going through a bunch of stuff. And then I went back, like, Five or six years, they had something, and I was just so, I just thought about that. I was just so amazed that them people who had been there when I first went, they were still there. They were old, but they were still there. Mm -hmm. They would have gotten older. It's like they, they were just planted. They weren't leaving that man. They were planted. They were rooted. They were grounded. I was just so, I said, he's still here? And look at how she's still doing the same. I was just so amazed. That just really shocked me for somebody to still be there that long. Yeah. But people do stay in places. That's the way Mac and I, well, it's Eos, Eos. Mm -hmm. we in the church, mm -hmm. we stayed there. Yeah. On time we left, well, when we, you know, we got transferred. Mm -hmm. Some CF moved us, but, and we, we, we was in a church, we was in a church. Cause like, the, we, we was in a Baptist church one time, and then, and the preacher was hitting on me. 